Ben Smith, physical therapist, healthcare express, physical therapy, and the sports place. Going to talk to you guys this week about some shoulder stability issues. So, the first thing that we want to look at whenever you're working on shoulder strength, you're trying to strengthen, you're trying to stabilize, trying to get rid of some of these pains, make it through a workout without getting the sharp, tingly, burning things that people get a lot with shoulder exercises, is you need to be able to find neutral posture. That's a really foreign concept to people because they spend so much time around it, like we've talked about in previous videos. So, here's how you're going to do it. You're going to stand up nice and tall, as straight as you can, and then you're going to put your hands, don't think about anything else other than just put your hands flat on your chest like this. And you can see when I do that, I'm a little rounded right here, as I bring my hands back and I put it flat on my chest, you can see that naturally my shoulder blades have to move back and out of the way a little bit. Concentrate really hard after you do that, and then just let your arms hang down. This may feel really strange to a lot of you, but you notice it really doesn't look strange. It looks like I'm in a pretty much straight up and down neutral posture. You're gonna feel like your shoulders are back more than normal. That's probably a good thing because they're probably too far forward. So anything that we do going forward, anything in the weight room, this is kind of one of those master this first, don't pass go kind of things until you really get this down. So as you're doing overhead raises, lateral raises, um, anything up top, anything shoulder related, pull backs, anything like that, uh, I'm going to show you what that looks like when you do that. So I'm going to find my neutral posture. I'm going to put my hands on my chest right here. I'm going to get my shoulders nice and back where they go. I'm going to leave them there. And then what I'm going to move is my actual shoulder joint. I'm going to keep that back and lock down just like that. So that's a kind of a demonstration of how you would do that. Same thing with front plane movements. If you're going to do bench press, if you're going to do anything out here, keep those shoulder blades locked down. You get people that have shoulder pain around the front with bench press, it's because if you watch them, they're either letting their shoulders slip too far forward as they're trying to get that bar up because it's probably too heavy or bad form, or when they get to the top, they try to get that last little bit, that push-up plus kind of motion. And there's a time and a place for that, but not with super heavy weight for most people. It's gonna be more detrimental to your shoulder than it's gonna actually help you. So this is a, a good workout series to try to balance out some of those muscle imbalances that you may have. You're gonna get your shoulder blades back where they go. We're gonna keep our elbows at shoulder height the whole time, and you're gonna rotate backwards. Just gonna do about three sets of 10. You can do these on a pulley machine, whatever you'd like. Next one is you're gonna do face pulls. So you're actually gonna to try to pull it to your face. You're gonna pull straight to the side like that. Try to keep your shoulder blades down and back, the same thing. And then same motion, you're gonna go down and back. And with that, you're hitting all of the muscles in the back of your shoulder. You're hitting all those rotator cuff muscles back there. You're getting your shoulder blade to move the way that it's supposed to. Really play around with once you get your shoulder blade there, of really trying to drive your shoulder blades down and back as you raise them up in the air. It's gonna feel a lot different to you. If you have shoulder pain, it may alleviate some of it. It may let you go through more range with your exercise. If you have any questions, if you have anything that you can't figure out, come see us in physical therapy. We'll be glad to help you as much as we can.